The Daily Mail from Birmingham and a movie about young women being coerced into joining ISIS is accused of being Islamophobic. <laughs> yeah, so they've got this video. It says, the moment Muslim activists storm Birmingham cinema screening of Bollywood film The Kerala Story. And I've watched the video and there's basically people saying, look, we, we, we can't take this dis discrimination against Muslims and Kashmiris. And it's a 10-minute film. So, by the way, this is the only way to get any notice for your short film. I mean, how, yeah. how often do you even hear about a short film? But the way to do it is to insult l l an entire yeah, yeah. religion and then you'll actually get some publicity. You think they have backhanders but, to come in and break in? I mean, well, you wonder about these things. Sometimes. It's a psyop. It's always possible. Yeah. But, yeah, the claim is in the film was that 30,000 women have disappeared after being recruited by ISIS. And this was removed in the trailer. They actually removed this, even though they claim they've done great research, but they didn't want to get in trouble for that, so they took that out. Right. But this has obviously upset a lot of Muslims who say that it, it's, you know, hey, you're having a go. Really, it's about ISIS recruiting Hindus and yeah, Christians, yeah. but that has crossed the line for you some people. You wouldn't want to be associated... And it's, it's all kind of weird calculation, I guess, isn't it? Is the implication that... Islam and ISIS are all one, or is it? Or can they not see that you might be wanting to say there is this kind of, I don't know, like a weird cancerous version of Islam which can become like that? I don't Do you know what I mean? I, I'd certainly argue that shutting down yeah. cultural expression is, is not a great way of distancing yourself exactly. from reassuring ISIS. people yeah. that ISIS exactly. is an outlier. And there's yeah. a quote here. He says, he said, look, extremists has endorsed this film. This is a person who's also been involved. He was banned from protesting outside of primary school because they were teaching LGBT values. Also, he was involved in the campaign last year to pull the Lady of Heaven, mm, I uh, that. We which, that, yeah, because they're yeah. saying it was a blasphemy thing, uh, which mm. was, I felt, disgusting that the cinema actually did in the end bow to that. Mm -hmm. And he says, an extremist has endorsed this film, which is arguably ironic, we will not allow it. Mm. That's the problem. We mm. will not allow it. Well, I'm sorry, you live in a country, uh, a liberal democracy, where people have freedom of expression and yeah. you don't make that call, mate. No. I'm sorry. And so going in, like, protesting is great. Protest outside, say, make your case that it's, argue it, that it is bigotry or it's, it's wrong, the facts are wrong and all of that stuff. But when you're breaking into, when you're, not breaking in, when you're going into the cinema itself, stopping the film being shown and having the police be called and get kicked out and saying we will not allow it, that's when the line gets crossed. Absolutely. So, well, say what you want about the Muslims. Though. They do stand up for their religion. I think the moral is more Christians need to invade cinemas. Well, what That's do you what think? I've it's taken funny enough, from. Well, I've just been, uh, yeah. I was just to say, I've been writing a thing about Life of Brian, which is, he, he, Cleese has uh, found yeah, that he's but... now having to change the uh, Loretta, the trans kind yeah. of um, joke. But 40 years ago, of course, when that came out, the Christian church did tut very loudly, but it had, I can't remember if it had much of an impact, but I do remember Muggeridge mm. and the Bishop of Southwark kind of but debating yeah, they, it. But, but they had laws, didn't they, at the time, yeah. and about, about blasphemy laws, which we don't have now. That's 1979? The, I believe no, I don't think, so. I don't think I so. I thought they got no, banned for blasphemy. No blasph it wasn't blasphemy laws. No. It wasn't? It? Oh, but, well, it, but they was, did, you know. It was, it was just frowned upon. I, guess it's frowned, okay. I don't think so, anyway. But, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I watched the trailer for it, by the way. It looks like quite a decent, well-made film. It's Mate, some I would suggest he doesn't watch True Lies. Because right. that is very dodgy about Muslims. Ah, ah.